All right, we're continuing discussing African personality assessment, and we're dealing with and addressing African-centered and non-African-centered models. Recall in the previous chapter, we addressed the concept of personality. We attempted to analyze how European people in Eurocentric psychology have historically analyzed African personality, not through an African worldview lens, but also from a negative or a pejorative slash deficit perspective. In this unit, we'll talk a little bit about African personality and other theorists' perspectives on African personality. I believe we're at, um, let me see, African-centered perspectives. I am Dr. Slaver Salah. Welcome back. So we're going to deal with this one, yes, Afrocentric theories. Wade Nobles is um, one of the strongest <clears throat> theorists in perspectives on African personality and the African family in terms of writing research. If you get an opportunity, check out his text, uh, Seeking the Saku and other texts as well. Um, Wade Nobles is, which you should know well by this point, one of the founders of the Association of Black Psychologists. Mm -hmm. And he talks about the core of African Black personality being and connecting to oneness with nature, interdependence, and a oneness of being. He identifies this notion of the African personality again with this group of people from an African worldview perspective, meaning he's using African cultural lens to analyze who African people are. Uh, and so he talks about African people operating from this concept of a we-ness, meaning it's about us or we. That parallels or connects well to the collective nature of the African identity based on African worldview. And we addressed that earlier. If you didn't get a chance to look at it, go early on, maybe a chapter two or something like that. So Wade Noble sees any deviation from this notion of weeness, this emphasis on collectivity and um, weeness as a distortion of the natural state of the African. So African people naturally seek to be together. He emphasizes in his core concept of the black personality um, an African self-concept that African people or black folks understand their African cultural selves. He sees the I-ness as a self-concept, um, as a, an awareness of the self as unique and separate, but a separate part of the African whole. Wade Nobles argues that what is important for African people is understanding in the development of personality, one's historical past. African people do not exist separate from the historical experiences that African people have had, Black African people have had, and what that means relative to the historic future. He emphasizes collectivity when it comes to spirituality and consciousness. Um, he identifies that <clears throat> The individual is a part of a group and that the individual is a part of African, Black African collective uh, self. He sees the evolutionary production of African consciousness across several dimensions or planes of experience, including spiritual and physical existence. So if you get a chance again, check out Wade Noble's work. Also, Dr. Naeem Akbar, or Dr. Wade Noble's, hopefully I said everything okay. So Dr. Naim Akbar's theory of the core of the African personality, he argues, is divine. Dr. Akbar suggests that African people are spiritual substances having a universal origin, very similar to um, what Wade Noble said. He said we're... Um, I don't know, spiritual people having a human experience, something like that. Anyway, so he, Dr. Akbar deals with the conscious and the unconscious. Very important to African um, understanding. He argues that African people at the core of who African people are, rhythmic people, and that we have a collective African consciousness that makes us who we are. In Akbar's theory, he talks about this African consciousness as being spirituality in both the conscious and unconscious, that 
component of divine substance that we don't exist to operate in the world without being spiritually connected he emphasizes african personality dynamics as the energy system of the black personality being rhythm and the african people are seeking a stable uh shared collective shared self or a collective self so it's almost like he's arguing that african people are constantly seeking to be in rhythm with one another and to be connected and you'll see consistencies or congruencies across each of the afrocentric worldview uh, personality paradigms so in the african consciousness and african functioning as well as his analysis of african institutions uh dr akbar talks about the mentally alive reinforced through the creation and operation of self-affirming institutions and these are reflected in religious celebrations rituals museums books literature the african people develop an african consciousness as a being a part of these african uh, behaviors these african institutions participating in african rituals and that is how african people's personality develops all right, so that was a mini, and uh, we'll continue with one other discussion on African personality in the next mini lecture. Uh oh, wait, we're gonna do two more because we're gonna talk about Robert Williams coming back. See y'all in a minute. Bye, booze. <laughs>